Ahoy Captain! Are you looking for a way to reduce up to 90% of CO2 emissions? Then maybe ship-based carbon capture is something for you. In this video I will quickly introduce you to the concept, how it works, the operational impact and of course how much it would cost you. We will provide you with all the guidance you need but we only have 2 minutes. And if you need more information, you can check out the full guide in the link attached in the video below or have a look at the end of the video. Now let's start the clock. Here we have a ship, we have fuel goes into the engine, normally exhaust gases go out. But with ship based carbon capture, we have quite a complicated system in which a solvent is added to the exhaust gas. The solvent sticks to the CO2, then the CO2 is taken out of the solvent by means of heat and then the CO2 is compressed and stored in different tanks. This picture is made by Konoship. I've worked together with them on a case and they can provide you with a lot more information on the subject if you need. So what's probably most important to you is to determine the operational impact of the storage space required for the CO2. Let's have a look. Of all the case studies that provide data on the subject, the average CO2 production is about 2 cubic meters per day per installed megawatt. That means that if you have a vessel with 10 megawatts installed power, you can assume at least 20 cubic meters per day required to store your CO2. It's recommended to do it in supercritical state at about 15 bars and minus 50 degrees as an optimum between cost and storage space required. Storage of CO2 on board can be done via dedicated tanks, such as this case by Norgas. And I've actually looked into refitting LNG tanks. Refitting existing tanks is tricky because the CO2 is stored usually at a much higher pressure than what you have on board. Alternatively, you could go for CO2 containers, which can easily be swapped. And this is a good solution if you're an offshore vessel that doesn't frequent ports much often. Then the containers can be swapped and brought to shore and you can stay offshore. The supply chain might be challenging, but luckily for us, there seems to be no preference for ship type or size. Virtually all ship types and sizes are eligible for CO2 capture on board. Any fuel can be used, but there seems to be a preference for LNG, and that's because of heat integration possibilities and thus reduced cost. So LNG is preferred, but it can be applied to any fuel. In terms of costs, we are looking at about 115 euros per metric ton CO2 produced. You can use this number to quickly estimate a business case. This number excludes transportation and sequestration costs. But if the CO2 tax or EU ETS is much higher than this value, this technology becomes profitable. It should be said that ship-based carbon capture is a capex-driven technology and it means most of the levelized cost that we see here comes from the capex investment required. We estimate capex cost of ship-based carbon capture to be around 175,000 euros per megawatt installed. And as you can see here, most of the cost is due to the equipment and the refitting cost required. And if you break it down even further, you see that of these costs, columns, heat exchangers, storage tanks and pressers, basics of the carbon capture system are what's most expensive. That means when you go talking with a technology supplier, these four things are probably most important for you to really fully understand and know about. Ship-based carbon capture. Controversial, yes. Cost-effective, perhaps. Technically feasible, absolutely. In my opinion, doing something is better than doing nothing and this might be one of the few technologies available to your vessel to decarbonize. If you want to be sure, check out this link with the full guide with all the data that we have discussed in this video and you can learn a lot more and see if it fits for your vessel. And you can always ask the help desk for more help and clarifications on the costs and what it means to refit your vessel to ship-based carbon capture. Thanks for your time and have a great day.